gonna trim this down just a little bit. Okay, and now we lay it over our robin. Take yeah. a look at that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's they are very similar, but Shepherd. what we want popping up in these desert environments is you look down and you're like, damn, that looks like a big kind of weird robin. That's a thresher. <clears throat> gotcha. Ah, that's okay. That's what I did too. Cool. And I um, thinking, where the hell are you There are robins robins. down here. I've had robin yeah. tracks. I've seen big flocks mm -hmm. of robins down here before. Yeah. Not this year so far, but in, in the past we have. Yeah. If behavior yeah. in the micro habitat would be pretty weird for Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so here, one thing I'll just point out in the, in the drawings here. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so right here, this is what I was thinking, what I was seeing before. Right here, there is a metatarsal showing. Oh yeah. Right there, and I mean, you're getting a little bit, and it's like that little funny trapezoidal weird shape. Whereas on in here, right here's the robins with nothing at all showing, and the and the thrashers, you tend to just get a little bit more. Um, <laughs> cool. Although up here, you're not getting any. Yeah, getting, so. Mm, but it, yeah. And so just, I guess it just varies. Yeah. Big ass robin tracks. The other thing I was pointing out earlier is that robins, you get that bulbousness to the tips of the toes, right? And um, and these tend to just be more segmented and, and of even size segments. See that? See how that right there? It's basically the same thickness throughout. You don't have that bulbous tip. But. 